Well, hello everyone. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing well. Today I have things I've been warming. I have Scentsy, Vendor Wax, Goose Creek, and Kringle. And I will try to move briskly through them. I know I always say that and then I get all bogged down in the scent notes because I love scent notes. But I will try to move um, through them in a, in a prompt manner today. And then uh, I wanted to mention that all of the buddies and bitty buddies from Scentsy that you see behind me are still available on our websites, including my own. I am an independent Scentsy consultant and I'll leave my information down below. But if you are as taken with these little souls as I am, well, you might want to go check them out. We have the chick and the lamb from the Easter collection, Sebastian from uh, The Little Mermaid, Cozy the koala with her little pink cardigan. We have Rosemary the rabbit, and we have the ladybug from, or the love bug from the Valentine collection. So those, as of this moment, which is Friday afternoon, April 29th, I believe, they are still available. So you might want to check those out. I shall start with Scentsy, so those of you who are here for Scentsy can go ahead and listen right away, and then I hope you'll stay for the rest. Um, first up, we have Angel 624. These are things I've been warming. I only have a little bit left of this. Scent notes <laughs> for this goji berry, blackberry, uh, vanilla bean, buttercream, and sugar cane. And this is just delicious. It's very sweet and fruity, and I enjoy this very much. Next we have, oh, NHL Fresh Ice. Here, I should hold these up so you can see them better. This is from the NHL collection. This is Cool Air Icy Mint and Sandalwood. And I absolutely love this. Really a powerhouse. And it lasted three days. Day one blew me right out of the house. So that's NHL Fresh Ice. Then we have Mocha Doodle, which is uh, coffee, caramel, chocolate, and vanilla cream, I believe. He heavy cream. So it's like a caramel macchiato and a very delicious fan favorite. Sea salt and avocado. This is very fresh and beautiful. Don't let that avocado name worry you. This is just really fresh and slightly salty. Yeah, really a, a perfect one for spring and summer. It's, it's quite unique and, and refreshing. This one was from the Easter Collection Raspberry Lollipop. This has a real tang to it and then kind of a... A, a very sweet candied background so it's kind of a kind of a kitty scent which I absolutely love and these labels from the Easter collection I thought were quite beautiful next up we have daydream oasis which was one of the newer scents um, for spring this year so it's melon pear leaf and water lily this is really watery and fresh and beautiful kind of like a resort scent this was from the uh, Life's a Garden collection last year, Apple Parsley. This improved so much with curing. Last year, all I was really getting was the, the green apple, which I love, but the parsley note is much more um, present now. And this threw much better. I mean, anything over time tends to cure, and Scentsy is no exception. So I'm really enjoying that. Next up, we have Ruby Nectarine. This was Scent of the Month. And this is uh, Ruby Apple Nectarine Pear Blossom. Very sweet. I would say the apple is the strongest note, but it was juicy and delicious. That one threw well for me. Um, I was less fond of, this is Big Six, or Big, Big Hero Six, uh, from the movie of the same name, I think. And it's called Would You Like a Hug? And I, while I enjoyed this, I didn't really love it. This is strawberry, raspberry, whipped marshmallow, and sugar. The raspberry just had a little bit of a, to me, a little bit of a metallic taste. But I enjoyed it. I just, I'm not going to go out of my way to get that one again. But I've heard a lot of people really like that one. Now, one of my big favorites, Palm Trees and Ocean Breeze, scent of the month from last year. This is really sweet, um, watery. Tropical without being pineapple. Uh, it's coconut water, palm leaves. Very delicious. This is a big favorite of mine. So that's palm trees and ocean breeze. 
and that one is not scentsy. So these, that's, oh, no, I have one more. So my friend Susan was saying how much she enjoyed this, Lush Gardenia. So I got out my tester, because I had used up the uh, last bar last year. You know what? I really enjoy this, and um, oh, it's, it's really a beautiful floral. Gardenia can be very sharp. But this is creamier than many gardenia scents I've smelled. I really enjoy this. This is quite strong. Little dab will do you. All right, so that is my Scentsy. Uh, most of those were empty, and a couple of them had a couple cubes to go, but I think you'll forgive me that. All right, so if that's all you came for, thanks for watching. And now I'm going to do Vendor Wax, and then we'll do Goose Creek and Kringle. So in Vendor Wax... First up, Destination Wax. I'm working on a bag. This is a chopped loaf. Yes, I did chop my loaves. I know I normally nibble at my loaves, but I, I am trying to move through them because I'm working on the Destination Wax entire scent list. So I need to continue to make progress on these. Uh, and I do reach for them a little more readily if they're chopped. So this is Lavender Manuka Honey. Absolutely beautiful. I love honey in wax. And with that herbal lavender, oh, Come to Mama. It's beautiful. Also from Destination Wax, we have uh, Black and Black. This is Black Vanilla and Black Pepper. Really unusual and very fresh. Love that. Blueberry Basket. So this was a juicy blueberry. Uh, blueberry Grapes and Plums. Then we had Lady Grey, which was a sample. Uh, beautiful tea scent. Then we have Beautiful Day. Oh, I love this so much. This is based on the Bath and Body Works candle. Pretty flower blend, apples, melon, pear, water, lily, cyclamen, and blonde woods. Lightly floral, a little bit sweet, a little bit woody. It's so gorgeous. So I will be getting more of that. Uh, black chamomile. And this was also quite lovely. Very refreshing. I love her chamomile. So I think you all know Destination Wax is one of my favorite vendors. I'm working my way through her scent list and enjoying every minute. All right, next we have Up the Creek Scents. And if there are, ah, uh, sorry, there might be a couple more Destination Wax. Here's one, Blackberry Fruit Punch. I did this one yesterday. That was beautiful. Lasted about 36 hours. This was uh, fruity, but Blackberry in the lead, gorgeous. All right, Up the Creek Scents, which is another of my favorite vendors. I always get great consistent throws. She does fruity and fruity bakery especially well, although she does cover all the scent categories. So I'm just going to read through these because I like them all. They all were strong. Okay, first up we have Frank, uh, there was the cereal sampler. These were wonderful, very true to the, the names. So Frankenberry confetti cake. I think Frankenberry is strawberry marshmallow. That was especially lovely. Strawberry blueberry fruity pebbles. Trick cereal marshmallow bar. Sugar Coated Captain Crunch Booberry, Franken, Frankenberry Fruit Loop Sugar, uh, Fruit Loop Sugar Cookies, Cocoa Puffs. So all of those were from the cereal sampler. Oh, it was great. Um, she still has some of those blunts on her website, so you might want to pop over there and check that out. <coughs> Pardon me. And finally, Blackberry Cotton Candy Cupcakes, just like it sounds. And that one lasted a long time. Also from Up the Creek, I had sent, those were the little four packs. These are the um, scent shot cups. So Strawberry Cookie Bakery. I really like her strawberry. That's Kringle. Okay, then we had Peach Warm Vanilla Sugar. This one was light, which is unusual. I know warm vanilla sugar from most vendors for me has tended to be light. And peach is usually not a powerhouse. So this one was on the lighter side, but it was beautiful. And finally, oh, smoked vanilla marshmallow pie crust. This was gorgeous. Really nice. It was like the marshmallow were just, were just lightly toasted and the pie crust very flaky. That was delicious. Okay, that's it for vendor wax. See, I can do this without going into every last scent note. And you get the idea, right? These, these names are pretty straightforward. Now, on some of these Goose Creek, I'm going to do Goose Creek next. And some of these, um, I will read you the scent notes because the name isn't all that clear. 
Okay, day in the sun. Oh, and look at these labels with the starfish, sea star or starfish. This one smells like copper tone suntan lotion. And this brings back, and I didn't think I liked suntan oil type scents. Well, I was wrong about that. This is so pretty. So the scent notes are bergamot, lemon zest, neroli, tuberose, coconut, and musk. So I guess that's what makes up copper tone. I didn't realize that had a, like a neroli base in it. This was beautiful and I ordered three more of them. So you know I liked it. Next up we have dragon fruit splash. Oh, so I guess I love dragon fruit because I'm enjoying dragon fruit blends from a lot of different vendors this year. This is so juicy and zingy and delicious. Um, just love every second of that. Uh, next up we have her banana, their banana pudding, which is banana, vanilla, and whipped cream. Oh, so for those of you who like a cooked, realistic banana, this is it. This is not um, runt banana, which I actually adore. This is a very realistic banana pudding. It's so creamy. Then we have Dragon Fruit Beach. So this one is Dragon Fruit, Mandarin, Pear, and Pineapple. So that one's got a little more of a uh, traditional tropical feel to it with the pineapple. But again, the dragon fruit is juicy and wonderful. I have several of um, uh, Espresso Cake Pop. Oh my goodness, this is so good. You really need to try this. So just like it sounds, it's a really rich, dark coffee and then a buttery, decadent cake pop. This is so good. My husband goes insane. So I have bought numerous of these this year. So good. You really need to try that. Then we have Tropical Daydream, and this is pineapple, pear, palm leaf, and bamboo. So very nice. A fruity blend on the fresher side. I enjoyed that very much. And look at these labels. Is that not beautiful? Okay. Then we have Volcanic Sunrise. Uh, very, uh, this was new to me. I really enjoyed this. This is orange, grapefruit, strawberry, and lime. So just a beautiful fruity blend, and you could get that lime. Sometimes in a blend like that, the lime gets lost, but on that one, I could smell it. Beautiful. Okay, this one is a big favorite of mine. So honey and wildflower. Oh, you know I love honey and wax. You've heard me say that before. And this is so lovely. And then just lightly floral but it's very much that honey fragrance. So you have to like honey and wax, which I do. Beautiful. I've had a couple of those. Then we have lilac garden, which is lilac, lotus, dewy greens, and white oak. This was so beautiful. We have an enormous lilac bush in our side yard, and this is so realistic. This was about a medium strength. This one didn't blow me out of the house. It was so lovely. So I would, get, I would get all of these that I've named so far again. All right, next we have uh, Beach Party. This was new to me. So this is orange, lemon lime, mango, black currant, peach, and vanilla. So a very creamy, beautiful, fruity blend. And with that black currant in there, oh. Now one thing I don't care for, and this is just a, you know, a, not a scent issue, but look, they're typically Goose Creek you know, the label is embedded or embossed into the, the lid. And lately I've been getting this where the lid, the, the label is on a, a paper card and then it's just inserted into the top of the clamshell. I'm not a real big fan because it always comes apart. And then when I'm, you know, I'm trying to put everything together, sometimes these flutter out and go somewhere else, which isn't the end of the world. But I just, I prefer when they had the label affixed to the top and not just inserted in there. So, my two cents. Not the end of the world. All right, then we have um, Soft Linen Breeze. So this is linen, lavender, and lily of the valley. Enjoyed this very much. I like linen much more than I like cotton, so this was nice. And the lily of the valley was present. So my mom was a big fan of lily of the valley. This one is watermelon, bubble gum. Oh my goodness, the, for the kid and everyone. And look at this beautiful watermelons. So this is very much Jolly Rancher watermelon and then like uh, bubble yum bubble gum. So very kitty 
uh, very juicy, it kind of makes your mouth water, and I liked it very much. It's it, That's a fun one. That's my second uh, clam of that. Here's Sunset Sparkle, and this one was Mandarin Berry, Honeysuckle, and Amber, and uh, Sandalwood. This one I would not repurchase just because it, you can really smell the amber, and I'm not the biggest fan of amber. But, but look at that beautiful label. So of what, like 10 I've told you about, that's the only one I wouldn't repurchase. The, I've really been impressed with these. And finally, peanut butter and jelly. This is great. So of all the peanut butter and jelly blends I have tried, Goose Creek is the best because I'm smelling the peanut butter. There's even a little bready background there. I had to kind of think about that, so I don't know if I've imagined that bready note. It's not prominent, but I think I'm getting it. And the jelly is very juicy and nice. Um, I, I like this a lot. You do get the peanut butter and you do get the jelly. So that's Goose Creek. I have ordered quite a few times from them this year, and I'm making my way steadily. Uh, don't have a backup. You know, I, I, I'm going to buy a backup. I don't have, I'm not all overloaded with these. I am going through them because I'm really enjoying them. All right, finally, how are we on time? Okay, it's what, 16 minutes? I have 23 on this phone. So oh, that's just great. I have Kringle, I'm gonna talk through these, and some of these are doubles. Going today, I have Pinot Noir, which is a mix of various dark red fruits, and it smells just like a beautiful wine. I love this. It's juicy, not overly sweet, but, but delicious. So I really like that, Pinot Noir. Then we have, I think I have three of this one. This is Pineapple Rita. So it's like a margarita only made with pineapple. And there's also a strong cilantro note. So I like this more the first time I, I melted it. I bought quite a few of these because I was all enthused after the first one. To me, it just smells saltier. So I don't know if that's a function of, of having sat for a little bit now that that saltiness is coming out more. I don't like it as well. I preferred when the cilantro and the pineapple were more prominent. But nonetheless, I have been enjoying this. I have the label upside down. I have been enjoying this. I just, I liked it better when it wasn't so salty. So that's, and that's just my nose. You may disagree with that. Okay, I actually get four of those. <clears throat> these are probably two weeks worth of empties, by the way. And they're not, these are not all empty. This one here, I still have four. This is heavenly. They're herbal tea. And again, these labels are beautiful, even on the clamshells. So this is tea and lemon, jasmine, verbena, musk, and sage. This is like a really rich brewed um, tea. And then a lovely lemon. Um, slight floral note, but it's more a very beautiful concentrated brewed tea. And to me, it smells like a hot tea. So really like that. Uh, warm apple pie. I think Kringle's apple pie is just the best of anybody, any vendor, any brand. I love this so much. It's a very flaky pastry and a very juicy cooked apple. I will be right back. I have to go talk to my beagle. Okay, I'm back. I had to talk to Moses. It's about half an hour until his dinner time, and he starts expressing his displeasure at having to wait. All right, we have uh, watermelon pops from Kringle. I enjoyed this; it was very refreshing. This it's um, not a realistic watermelon; it's more of a candied watermelon. But I liked it. This was on the lighter side, so that's watermelon pops. Blueberry French toast, just like it sounds, very decadent. A nice true blueberry, and a little bit of maple and a a, a rich eggy French toast. So I enjoyed that, it was good. My husband particularly liked that one. He is the French toast fan. Did I have two of those? Yes, I did, and the other one's not done yet. I still have some remaining. We had uh, dragon fruit lemonade. Oh, so this is gorgeous. Um, again, I really like dragon fruit, and the lemonade is a beautiful, like old-fashioned lemonade, and then that juicy dragon fruit. This was great and nice and strong. Dragon fruit lemonade. This is one of my favorite Kringle scents, the iced citrus. So it's like a mixed citrus. You have um, uh, lemon, orange, grapefruit, uh, a nice icy note. And this was fine, nice and strong. Stronger in the melt than it was in the candle. 
So quite pleased with this one. Icy citrus. Iced, is it iced? Iced citrus. This was not my favorite. Cotton candy clouds. About a medium strength and throw. I think I don't like the cotton candy note. There really was nothing wrong with it. It smelled true. I just, I don't really care for cotton candy note all by itself. And that's primarily what I got here. So I wouldn't get that one again necessarily. Now I love this one. Strawberry mint leaf. So this is not a very realistic strawberry, but it's kind of like strawberries that have been highly sweetened and left to sit and steep. And then a vanilla cream not much I, I really don't get any mint with this but i love this the pastry is very realistic and delicious so i love this not everybody's favorite but i really enjoy that and that's strawberry mint tart and finally this is one of my other all-time favorite kringle fragrances this is cilantro apple and lime and this is the um I'm, when i have these little round ones this is the daylight um candle it's 1.5 ounces and i just melt it i put it in a melter and just once it's um, liquid I pour it pour it out so these do great as wax melts so um, when I'm first learning the scents I usually get these if they're on sale anyway this is so beautiful so um, you do get all of those notes the cilantro the apple and the lime this is so refreshing and beautiful you have to like cilantro because you certainly can pick that out here but I, I like this very much. Just, again, it's one of my favorite Kringle fragrances. And last but not least, we have Fresh Mint. And this is a combination of mints. Um, spearmint, peppermint, I'm not sure what else. Mint, it's like a mint combination of mint leaves that have been crushed. It's so beautiful. Not overly sweet. This is nice and strong and it lasts forever. Beautiful. So there you have it. That's all I got. So I hope everyone is well. I hope you all have a great weekend, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time, hug your families. Bye for now.